Hello, welcome to Math Vibes. If you are new to our channel, don't forget to click on the subscribe button. We are going to continue while revising exercise 13.2 of class 6 chapter symmetry, Maths. So here was a first question in which you have to find the number of lines of symmetry for each shape. So you have to draw the dotted line of symmetry in each case and the answers are given below for your reference. You can have a look. In part G and part H, there is no line of symmetry, so it is written 0. In all the other parts, the line of symmetries have been drawn. Moving on. In question number 2, you have to draw the line of symmetry, if any, and identify the type of triangle. Now, when it is given that if any, so there is a chance that there will be some type of a triangle which will not be having any line of symmetry. Okay. So, the first was an isosceles triangle and it will have one line of symmetry. The second one is also an isosceles triangle and it will also have one oh. line of symmetry. The third is a right angled triangle and will have one line of symmetry which is drawn over here. And the last one is a scaling triangle and it has no line of symmetry. Next is question number three which was to complete the table. So here I have drawn all the figures. All the figures are drawn over here like equilateral triangle, square, rectangle, isosceles triangle, rhombus and a circle. So, if you are confused that what is a rhombus, then you can watch our video on the channel, which is kinds of quadrilateral. You will know in detail about the type of quadrilateral over there, which will cover rectangle, square, rhombus in this. So, an equilateral triangle has three lines of symmetry. A square has four lines of symmetry. Rectangle has two lines of symmetry. Isosceles triangle has one line of symmetry. Rhombus will have two lines of symmetry. And a circle will have infinite lines of symmetry. A very important question for you all. You should know how many lines of symmetries are there in these figures. And you should also know how to draw them and where to draw them. So the lines are drawn over here for your reference. Have a look and try to practice on your own also. Moving on, question number four, an important one was, can you draw a triangle which has exactly one line of symmetry? We have just now seen two examples of isosceles triangle which has one line of symmetry. So here is the triangle which is drawn for you. Second one is exactly two lines of symmetry. We cannot have any triangle which has exactly two lines of symmetry. So the answer is zero. We cannot draw it. Third is exactly three lines of symmetry. Yes, an equilateral triangle, it has three lines of symmetry. So you can draw an equilateral triangle and then you can draw its lines of symmetries also. Next, no line of symmetry. Yes, a scalene triangle, just now we did. You have to draw a scalene triangle because it has no line of symmetry. This question is also a very important question and it usually comes in MCQs on one mark questions or anywhere in competitive test also. So do this question thoroughly. Next is you have to sketch the following. Now you have to draw it. Okay. Now question uh, part A is a triangle with a horizontal line of symmetry but no vertical line of symmetry. So it has a horizontal line of symmetry. So it will be drawn like this. Okay. Now next is B part. A quadrilateral with both horizontal and vertical line of symmetry. Okay. So this is a quadrilateral which has a square or you can take a rectangle also. So it has both horizontal and vertical line of symmetry. C part. A quadrilateral with a horizontal line of symmetry but no vertical line of symmetry. This is kite. The triangle uh, that uh, quadrilateral will be drawn like this. It is actually a kite which again if you want to know in detail that what a kite is then go through the video kinds of quadrilateral on, uh, on our channel only. Okay. So this type of quadrilateral which will have horizontal line of symmetry but no vertical line of symmetry is kite. In a kite, these adjacent sides are equal. Okay. D part, 
a hexagon with exactly two lines of symmetry so now in this case here it is given that the hexagon we have to draw but that should have exactly two lines of symmetry exactly two so now the hexagon will be drawn in this shape look at it carefully because in the next question you again have to draw a hexagon but it should have exactly six lines of symmetry so now you will be drawing the six line of symmetry is like this so here the numbers are also written so that you can have an idea that what are the six lines that you have to draw so this was about fifth question of the exercise in the next question question number six you have to trace the figures on a graph paper and draw the line of symmetry okay so in these questions you have to draw the line of symmetry in a part there was no line of symmetry in b part you can see that there are two lines of symmetry in c part there are four lines of symmetry in d part there are two lines of symmetry which are drawn over here you can have a look <clears throat> and in e part it has one line of symmetry and f part will have four lines of symmetry you can have a look at these figures carefully you can pause the video and you can have a look a thorough uh, look on the dots dotted line which will give you an idea of what the line of symmetry are okay now the seventh question was you have to consider the letters of english alphabet from a to z and then you have to list them according to the following a part was you have to list the alphabets which have vertical line of symmetry so these are some of the examples of vertical line of symmetry like a h i m o t u v w x n y which have vertical line of symmetry b part is horizontal line of symmetry b c d e h i k o x and c part no line of symmetry it is f g f g j l n p q r s n z so these are the alphabets which have different different lines of symmetries which are mentioned over here here in this figure i have drawn all the vertical lines and the horizontal lines in all the alphabets so that you can have a clear idea because if in the question it is mentioned that you have to draw their lines of symmetry also then you will have to write the alphabet and draw it like that okay otherwise if it is written that you just have to write it like list list the letters then you can uh, you cannot draw the line of symmetry you can just write the alphabets okay uh, next is draw a rough diagram to complete the figure here the question was that the figures of few folded sheets and designs were drawn along the fold and in each case you have to draw a rough diagram of the complete figure which would be seen when the design or is cut off so this was the question so uh, when the design would have been cut off right so complete figure the answer is here in this picture all right that is about exercise 13.2 happy learning stay in touch coming up next is exercise 13.3 of chapter symmetry class 6 maths bye and don't forget to click on the subscribe button to like and share